It's a, it's a, it's a matter of time. Our, our, the sizes of our cup is different. Once you live a life, oh, la Rabratashi, something happened. <laughs> somebody got, somebody, am I blessing you? Yes, Dr. Emmanuel, somebody did something in Nigeria in our church. Ah, I was angry. I was angry. He did something not nice. I had the right to be angry. But when you overstretch an issue to the extreme, you go into offense. So I was so angry, I overstretched it. For two days, I was still angry. I was upset. I was angry. My mom is a praying woman. She called me and said, there are revelations about you that God is not happy with you. I said, me? How? If I don't know, the revelation just came. Yesterday, they said something about you. Somebody did something. You are angry or something. God is not happy. Hey. I knew. So I said, okay, okay, okay. okay. No, I, I tried to argue. I said, no, no. God is happy with me. God is happy with me. And she went off the phone. I said, hey. I called back. I said, pray for me. She said, we are praying for you. I broke down in tears. I went on my knees. What was my sin? I was too angry. Now, <laughs> you must ask the Holy Spirit the question. I said, just for being angry at evil, you are angry with me. What about those people that fake miracles, that put people on the wheelchair, that play games, that collect people's cars, that collect money? The Lord said to me, who are they? I said, on the pulpit. He said, I don't know them. He said, I don't know them. He said, but I'm angry at you over that little stain because I know you. I said, because those ones, you, you should have even killed or get angry. He said, I won't do nothing because they are not working for me. When I heard that, I'll share something with you Matthew chapter 7 he said they will say Lord he said not many not many that say Lord Lord shall enter into my kingdom for many we say in your name we did miracles in your name we did so they were doing their thing but using his name yes, they were doing their own thing by using his name in your name we sang in your name we did this in your name we did they are living their own life by using his name so I'll say to them I never knew you there was no relationship because if you have a relationship with God the first proof is your conscience when you do something it breaks you when your conscience no more pricks you you are finished you are finished when you do you lie some people lie as if they are prophesying when they lie lord have mercy people lie like it's a prophetic so if some people tell you good morning look outside it might be evening even their greeting is a lie some people just lie for nothing they lie over senseless issues where were you last week? America. And it's a lie. Why did you have to say that now? They lie over senseless matters. And Joshua the high priest stood. He said, and the devil stood at his right hand to resist him. Am I talking to somebody? Why? Because he had filthy. Somebody called you. Your phone is ringing. You didn't pick the call. After two days. He said, oh, I missed your call. You didn't miss the call. You saw the phone ringing. Oh, you called me. Oh, my God. Are you serious? What kind of game is that? If you don't want to talk to somebody, do you call me? Say, yes. I called you. Why didn't you pick your call? I didn't feel like talking. It's my phone. Is it? You called me. At that time, I didn't feel like talking. I saw your call, but I didn't feel like talking. That's all. You have saved your life. Say, I saw your call at that time, but I didn't feel like talking. Did I offend you? If the person offended you, say so. Yes, you offended me, so I didn't want to say the wrong thing to you. So you actually saw my call. I did. 
is my phone. Did you buy it for me? Even if you bought it for me, it's my time. <laughs> there is. So are you lying? It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. You may not like what I want to say. Good husbands are not gotten when ladies stand on the road. Put a level of value. If sin will make you lose your job, lose it. If your refusal to, to, to commit iniquity will make you lose your job, lose it. Lose it. I was held somewhere, some airport. They stopped me and I understood. They said, um, we know, we know, they said a lot of things. And they said, okay, do something. I said, do what? He said, do something. I said, like what? Um, we hear that you, you are very wealthy, you are blessed. So I said, no. They said, okay, stand here. I stood there. What they were asking me to do was less than $50. It's nothing to me. Less than $50. They said, do. I said, no. They said, stand there. I stood there for 10 hours. Rather than me doing the wrong thing, I said, deport me back. 10 hours. I sat. I said, they handed over shift. The next shift that came saw me. What happened? And I told them, say, go, 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 go in, go in, go in. And I walked in. I felt fulfilled that I paid the price for what is right. When men revile you for righteousness sake, blessed are you. I'll continue tonight. I, I, can't, I can't go further on this. But I want to pray for people who want God to baptize them with their hunger for purity. The hunger. The, the hunger. That all you want, sir, your doors are closed now because God is unhappy. Even if I lay my hands on you, say, lose him and let him go. Because of your sin, you say, tie me and let me stay. Even if I lay hands on you and doors open, your iniquity makes you close the door with your hand. Father, show me mercy. Show me mercy. I don't care if you sing in the choir, you are in the, the prayer department, you are a pastor, or you are anything. If you are living a life of iniquity, on that day you will split hell wide open. Our troubles are less when we please him. For if a man's ways pleases the Lord, he may get even his enemies to be at peace. They may not be your friends, but they'll be at peace. They may still be enemies, but they will submit peace to you. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? Get out of the house of that man that has not married you. Get out. Get out of his house. If you have to sleep on the street, sleep on the street. Father, I'm sleeping on the streets of Pretoria because of you. Get out if you have to get out. Heaven is too precious for you to miss. As a pastor, you can't pay your renters. The only option is to compromise. Let the church close. If you, Father, I'm not... <laughs> I can't lie to raise money if it wants to let it close. Is it your work? Are you the owner of the church? Let it let let it go. Anything that God is not involved should lose taste to you. Should lose value. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Should lose value. of game there are some brothers in church you, you you see them pastor they have they have their own ministry the anointing on their life is to be giving young ladies fruit of the womb uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. to be moving from department to department in the name of proposal giving people fruit of the womb <laughs> there was a young girl I, I, I have a young girl in our church 
Anytime she's excited, I know she's in a relationship. Anytime I see her, glory, glory, love. You are, I say, ah, somebody has proposed to this one again. At the end of the day, I say, come and see me, come and see me. You seem happy. You say, yes, papa, yes, papa. She shows me a ring. I say, sit down. I know you. You are too emotional. He said, Papa, no, no. And the problem is that she always gets engaged to funny kind of people. Funny. And that the person is very muscular, like a dog. Or walks like this, like a touch. Or has some dreadlocks and some earrings. Very abnormal setting. Abnormal people. They are not normal. Not normal. I said, bring the person. Somebody saunters to my office. I say, what is this one again? One time I see my daughter sit down. Can't you bring a proper person to me? He said, that was your idea of proper. I said, proper, normal person, suit wearing. He said, suit for what? For what? I want a guy who has effect, effect, you know, effect. And you have been affected. <laughs> I'll give you this testimony and then I'll pray. Omega Farm Ministries began and we were nine months old. We we're nine months old around November 2004. There was a lady who gives a lot. Now, I don't care how you interpret it. I'm very, very sincere. I don't care how you interpret it. If you are a giver, you get pastor's attention. Very easy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it doesn't matter if you say I'm carnal. I'm being sincere. Once you are a giver, your pastor notices you. After service, you walk to him. Now, Papa, I traveled to Dubai. This is for you and mommy. I got you jackets. I got you shoes. Don't ask for prayer. Just drop it and go. He will call you. Knee down! Knee down, daughter of Zion! It's, it's very, no, it's normal. You have children. If you have three, four, five kids, there are kids that are very sympathetic. Oh, mommy, are you okay? Oh, mommy, are you fine? Somehow they just get your attention. Is that true? Okay, so there was a lady, she was doing all that. She would give, give. The day she's not in church, I know. Oh, it doesn't matter what you think, I know. We have few, like 400, 500, but she was such a giver. Before I call for a seat, she's in front. Such a crazy giver. She was a secretary to the wealthiest man in our town. And uh, so I pray with her. She's not in church, I will ask, what happened? They say, she went for a business trip and the rest. <laughs> Why are you laughing? God have mercy on you, pastors. <laughs> but it's, no, you know, I will say it as it is. I, I, will, I will say it. Even if I make a mistake, I will say it on the altar. I don't. I will ask. I will ask. Why was she not in church? They just say, ah, that devil is a liar. So, <laughs> one day I heard she was sick. Ah! Sickness? From where? How? So I went with Reverend Kinsley. Reverend Kinsley is in Abuja. You know Reverend Kinsley? Great, great guy. Good man of God. But Reverend Kinsley likes football. Chelsea, is it Chelsea? He's a Chelsea fan. Me, I'm a gospel fanatic. <laughs> he loves football. So I'm sure they knew. So when we got to the house, they slot in a tape. It was football. He went with me. So he sat down and forgot me. I mean, if, when I mean forgot, he forgot about me. He just, they said, please, daddy, you have to come inside and pray. She can't even stand. I said, ah, she can't stand? The devil is a liar. Carried my Bible, I entered. As I entered, they jammed the door from behind me. Boom! I couldn't see the light. So I looked for the switch on the wall, and I put it on. The light came on. Behold, somebody was standing before me, stark naked. And he said, ah, pastor... Don't you like what you see? I said, oh, Jesus. Hear me? My heart said, Johnson, so this is how you go to hell? My body said, Johnson, drop your Bible. <laughs> oh, you like the truth? You like the truth? My, my heart says, this is hell. This is hell. Somebody just said, look at hell, enter. My body was going through the battle of Armageddon. 
and I was going through Gog and Magog. If you read Revelation, there's something Gog and Magog. And I was saying, Satan said to me, John, see, see, fresh fish, fresh fish. What are you waiting for? I said, hey, I was for like three minutes. I'm not going to lie to you that I saw it. I just rebuke, rebuke what? I had Bible. I was looking. I said, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. On the spot, I turned to the door. The door was locked. Hey. And I heard something. So this is where you end your Christian journey. Ah! To cut the long story short, I escaped through the window. Nine months later, she died of HIV. Where would Omega be today? If I had compromised, I would probably be dead by now. Stand up, let me pray for you. Anytime you overcome sin, you get a promotion. When you become too, hear this pastor, when you become too comfortable in the midst of the opposite sex, you become too comfortable, too comfortable, too comfortable, you're on your way out. When you start getting too comfortable with sin, your conscience is dying. There are people that will tell a lie and they feel no remorse. Now, it's so terrible that when I, maybe I'm talking in church, I said, last week Wednesday, I forgot the date, maybe I didn't know it was Tuesday. I said, last week Wednesday, this happened, it happened. When I get to my wife, we say, you lied. I said, what did I lie? He said, you said Wednesday, it was Tuesday. I said, I, I, can't somebody make a mistake? He said, my husband is not called mistake, he's called lie. That was on the pulpit. I said, no, I was preaching, so I didn't remember Tuesday or Wednesday. I said, it doesn't matter. I was going to preach somewhere, and my wife watched somebody. I was in Ghana. And my wife watched somebody carry my Bible to the altar. I was, I mean, it just honored me. When I got home, she said, um, my husband, when did people start carrying your Bible for you? I said, uh, mm. that is how pride begins. What happened to your hand? You can't carry your Bible yourself? Have a wife that can put you in check. Stop using ministry ethics to threaten your wife. That's religious witchcraft. You do something to your wife, so why did you do this? Say you don't understand. There are depths in the world that you don't know. There are, there are mysteries you don't know. I have too many stories to tell you. There are depths. The guy told me, the pastor told me that he had a voice that he should send away his wife and marry another person. So people came. This is a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. No voice. It's, it's lying. I said, What's your problem? Are you the one that had the voice? I said, Pastor, I agree with you. You heard the voice. He said, Papa, you, you, are, you confirm? I said, I confirm. I said, You heard the voice. You heard the voice of the devil. <laughs> you heard the voice of the devil. That's not God. Put away your wife. That's not God, sir. Divorce. That's not God. Having an assistant wife. That's not God. That's not God. Having living a life that is so shameless that you've lost dignity. You lied on the devil. You've, when you lie, Satan is shocked. You just lie. Satan say what? Even the devil is amazed. You are so immoral that the devil is learning from you. He's amazed. Like it's like, how can somebody have so many partners? Sit and call Lucy Bezibob. Say, Bezibob, come, Bezibob, come. Come and see our role model. <laughs> somebody, somebody humorously said something. Humorously, somebody said, one time the devil went to God to complain. The devil said, God, you are the unknowing God. You are very truthful. People keep lying. They fall into sin. They say, I made them do it. 
they do the same thing. Why the devil was talking with the Lord? A young man fell into sin. And the angel said, why did you do it? He said, the devil. So the devil, from where he was with God, said, I'm, Lord, am I not here with you now? How did I? <laughs> Pass me not away from your presence. John chapter 20 verse 7 the Bible says when they got into the, into the tomb they saw the linen cloth lying on the ground right they, watch these people watch this they saw the linen clothes lying on the ground and they saw the napkin folded and kept but the linen clothes were lying on the ground in in the Hebrew culture when a boss is on the dining table the linen the, 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 the linen the napkin rather was folded wrapped together and kept in the hebrew culture when a servant serves his master his meal he keeps a napkin and he walks away he has no access to the table he walks away how he knows the master is done is the master uses the napkin to clean up his hand but when he folds the napkin it means i'm not done i'm coming back so when Jesus folded and wrapped that napkin in the tomb, he was saying, I am coming back. The ancient of days who left through a virgin tomb is coming, breaking through a virgin sky for a virgin church. He's coming back. I want to pray with you today. Right where you are, before I pray for the sick, there will be miracles. There'll be signs, there'll be wonders. Why? You are saying, man of God, help. I'm a victim of sin. I love God so much, so much. He knows I love him. But I'm battling with habits. I, I try to stand. I try to stand. It's not working. I need help. You might be a bishop. You might be a pope. You might be a prophet. You might be an apostle. You might be a brother, a banker, a lawyer. A mayor. A medical doctor the bank anything you do but there is this thing you are struggling you know this is the only thing standing between you and God and you need God to help you as we worship the Lord if you're in that category you leave your seat and come kneel on the altar you come kneel by this altar and God is going to help you pass me not away from your from presence, presence. Asking for grace. 
Monda yaba do I say I love you? Do I say I need you? Do I say I'm grateful? What more can I say? Do I say I love you? Do I say I need you? Do I say I'm grateful? What more can I say? Do I say I'm Ask him for mercy, ask him for grace. Oh. And God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call the Father. This that child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore thee. And my faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my sins away, and oh, let me find this day be yours. I have tried to tell something special I have tried to live a holy life I have tried to find rest for my soul But to all I tried and I failed Then I ran home to search in my Bible That's where I found the steel abundant hope where I found I cannot go alone oh Lord Jesus come and take my hand oh when the sand go marching in go marching Oh, when the saints go, go marching in, Lord, I want to be, Lord, I want to be in the number. When the saints, when the saints go I agree with you. Those of you on your knees, lift your hands toward heaven. Lift your hands toward heaven. I agree with you that mercy will speak for you. The Lord lifts up that burden. He said, This is the fast that I choose to undo heavy burdens. The Lord lifts up that burden. I decree that your weakness will now become your strength. Henceforth, yes. your garment will be white and your head will not lack ointment. Yes. Purify your people, Lord. Purify them. No stain. No iniquity. 
can stand between you and your God. Father, I pray that this sincerity, as they kneel on this altar, they drop that struggle on the altar. They drop that habit on the altar. I decree you are free. You are free. You are free. In Jesus' name. Rise on your feet and move to your seat right now. Give them a hand. Give them a hand.